Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to upgrade your Radio Master TX16S from OpenTX to HTX. As you know guys, there are many benefits doing this guys because OpenTX although is a great operating system for your radio control guys, but HTX has been better and it also adds a touch screen support onto your Radio Master TX16S. So guys, if you are new to Radio Master TX16S, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we start with updating the operating system from OpenTX to HTX guys, I would want to tell you a few important things. So first thing guys, your models and custom sound packs are not going to be migrated automatically from your OpenTX to HTX guys. The format is totally different. So ensure that your models are properly backed up and your sound packs are properly backed up. Second thing important that I want to tell you guys, all your widgets that you have on your screen, you are going to lose. So all the screen layouts and all the widgets that you have on your OpenTX operating system is going to go away. You will have to set up all those screens for all your models right again. But then you will always get your models back, but not the widgets. The models of the OpenTX once converted into HTX will not be able to convert it back to OpenTX format guys. So it is super important to back those models up. And let us see first the firmware version, which is there on this OpenTX operating system. So we'll hit the sys key using the page forward. We'll go to information and we'll see here the OpenTX operating system is installed. The latest firmware is, is available as of now for this OpenTX is 2.3.15. The date of release was 2022-0502. So this is the operating system version as of now guys here on my Radio Master TX16S. I have already done another video guys on how to upgrade the operating system of OpenTX. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So now guys, let us start with the updation process of this operating system from OpenTX to HTX. So guys, before we can start with the updation process, you have to boot this up into the bootloader mode so as to be able to update the firmware on this Radio Master. To do that guys, first thing that you need to do is click on the power button and shut this down. Now that it is shut down guys, you have this trim option guys here, T1 and T4, you have to hold it all to the center both so t4 on towards the center and t1 on towards the center at the same time like this and then hold the power button to boot this into the bootloader mode so here you can see guys it has already booted up into the bootloader mode guys there are two options visible on your screen which says write firmware and exit you don't have to do anything here guys you don't select and configure anything on this menu. So the next thing that you need to do for updating the firmware is to connect this to your PC. So to connect it to your PC guys, the port that you're going to use is the top side USB-C port, which is there on the radio control guys. So here on the top, you can see guys, there is a USB type C port, which you need to connect it to your PC. For that, you will be needing a USB type A to USB type C cable. Ensure that guys, this cable is data cable, not just the charging cable, so as to be able to transfer the data using this cable. So if you have only the charging cable guys, it will not work. Ensure that the cable that you're using is capable of data transfer as well. So all you need to do is connect it here onto the top and then connect the USB type a port which is on the other side of this cable to your pc and then start with the backup and upgrade process guys so now let's get on to the pc so here you can see i have got two drives here rmtx16s this is your firmware folder guys and then you have a usb drive which is containing all your themes widgets and the sounds so let's quickly synchronize this using the opentx companion app Let's first synchronize the SD card. So here I have backup of 2.3.15, which is as of now the operating system on my radio control as well. So let's quickly synchronize. Since guys, I've already synchronized my SD card. This is the fresh firmware update that I have done in my last video guys. There was possibly 
nothing to be updated other than few changes that I did on my radio control after I have upgraded the operating system guys. So as you can see, updated was three and then rest all were skipped. So my SD card is now backed up. So next thing that I want to back up is the settings. So let's read the settings. So here I have all the models. As you can see, I have the default models that came from the factory guys. So if you want, you can back up like this. So click on save as, and then you will have the TX16S settings and model that I have created in my previous video, the folder on my local PC. Let's back up the settings. So it is TX16S, open TX settings. So let's save like this. So since all my settings are all backed up, my SD card is all backed up. Now it is ready to flash new firmware guys. So let's close this. So guys, to start with the upgrade process, you need to download two things first. One is HTX firmware and then is SD card downloads. And then the third optional part is sound packs. So let's download all three of them. First, second. So here you can see guys, these are the SD card contents. So here you can see the resolution, depending upon the resolution of the screen that you have, you can download the SD card content. Here you can see C stands for color and BW stands for black and white. So if you have a black and white, depending upon the screen size, you can choose any one of those. If you have color, you have three options here guys, as you can see. So since the radio master has a screen size of 480 by 272, I'm going to download this one. So this is your SD card content guys, SD card downloads and then the sound packs. To go to assets, SD card sounds. So you can download English. So in English you have Libby, Ryan, Guy, US, Sarah, and en so i think this is the default one so let's download this one this is the sound pack maybe you can include more sound packs as you require but then i'm going to download the default one sound pack in english on the usb drive guys first delete all of this because i have already backed this up so i have it on my PC, all of them. So I will go and delete this. So USB drive, now it is blank. So I am going to copy the SD card content which is required for HDX. So let's do that quickly. So here guys, my SD card contents and the file structure is now there. So here inside the firmware guys, I need to put the firmware. So from here guys, I'm going to select the firmware which is relevant for me, which is TX16S. So that is the firmware which is relevant for me guys. So depending upon the radio control that you have, you can select the firmware that you need. So I have this one, so I will put it here. So guys, Next thing that I'm going to update is the sound pack. So I have the sound pack here downloaded already guys. You have the sounds folder here and here same. So I'm just going to drag and drop. So here you can see guys, I have an English sound pack already there. Then guys, let's see if it has images. It has no images guys. So in my SD card backup, or 2.3.1 I have images so I am going to copy these images to the images folder here I will control a control C and I will paste the images I will replace everything. So here I have replaced the images. So I have got the images. I have got the scripts, wizards as per the HDX guys. So here I have the firmware for my 
TX16S for HDX. So now guys, I am ready to install HDX on my radio master. Now quickly disconnect the cable and then let's go back onto the radio control to update the firmware. So guys, here you will see, once you have copied all the content for HDX, you will see a warning on your screen. The storage data is bad. You can ignore this warning guys. You can click on any button like this. So here you can see guys, once the warning is gone, you can see the home screen. It looks very different guys. It is still on OpenTX guys. You need to first upgrade. So upgrade this operating system. There are few steps to do it guys. So first thing that you need to do is click on sys menu and access your memory card and inside the firmware folder since you have copied already the firmware select the firmware and click OK. So it will give you an option to flash bootloader copy rename and delete. So click on flash bootloader. So guys, once you have already flashed the bootloader guys, so you need to go back onto the home screen guys. Now you have to power this down using the power button. So once you have powered this down guys, you have to put this again into the bootloader mode. So to do that, you have to put this trim keys T1 and T4 push inside and then press power button like this. So here you can see you are now in the HTX bootloader mode. You have an option to write firmware guys. So this time click on write firmware. So here it will directly take you to the firmware which it is going to write. So it is TX16S. So ensure that guys at this point of time you have selected the right firmware otherwise you are going to break your radio control guys. So ensure that you downloaded the right firmware. So for me it is correct. So let's click OK. So it says hold enter key for long to start with the flash process guys. So hit this for a long time. So here you can see the flashing is started. As you can see the writing is complete. You can hit on return button to go back and then scroll down to exit. And click OK. It says that the storage warning is there. So SD card conversion is required. So let's click OK. Hmm. Welcome to HTX throttle warning. So you have the throttle warning and press any key to skip. So let's press back. So here you can see guys, you are now on HTX. So this is the operating system that you wanted to upgrade. Now guys, let us again go on the sys menu. Let's go to the information. So here you can see guys, the firmware version on this radio control is HDX version 2.71. Date of release is 220509. Time of load is 040203. And you have the functions as of now, which is available on your HDX. So this is it guys. This is how you upgrade the operating system from OpenTX to HDX. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.